Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Here at the Circle, we love talking about good music. But when it comes down to good old 90s R&B, no playlist is complete without everybody screaming, my love. Now, I can't sing like Selena. But please welcome the men behind the music, Brian, Chris, Chalk, Andre, Jason, Jace of Soul for real. Hi, guys. Have you down to the circle? How y'all feeling today? Oh my man, God! Great. Man, man, man! But you gotta take the people all the way back to when you were discovered by Heavy D. Mm. What was that moment like? And then tell us how Soul for Real came to be. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Ah, the flashbacks. Yes, yeah. I know, right? No, um, it was uh, it was an experience for us uh, mm -hmm. when we first were discovered by Hev. Um, it was just uh, the summing up of. Uh, a, a run with us just trying to do our best to right. land the right situation and um, it just so happened to be Hev and he brought us to Uptown Records and from there the rest was history. The rest was history and exactly. obviously he played such an integral role in, in the group development. Now was Soul For Real, did you have the name prior to or did he give you the name? That's a good question, yeah. honestly. Um, Hev, we actually came up with Soul For Real with Hev. Okay. You understand? We, we got so close with him after he did you know, audition us and was like, you know, I'm gonna guarantee you guys a deal. The name of the group that we had, it was like a real poppy name that it was like, you guys gotta get rid of that. So right. We what were, was it? Da Fizz. Yeah. What? Da Fizz. Da Fizz? Da Fizz? Oh gosh, so yeah. for real is much better. Yeah. Much, yeah. Yes, Absolutely. yes. So, I mean, just collectively we came up with it, you know, knocking around a whole bunch of different names mm -hmm. and came up with Soul For Real and that stuck. Right, and so you, you had such success and then you went on a 20 year hiatus. Yes. What did you miss most during that time? And, and, and how did you grow as men? I think I, I mean who wants to you know maybe take it? Yeah, Come yeah. on! I think Honestly. we missed our fans the most. Yeah. You know we mm -hmm. missed the lifestyle of just interacting with and loving on y'all. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Right. That's that's moments you, like this, right. you know what I mean? Moments Being like able this. to come here and be interviewed by a beautiful woman like yourself. Thank you, well, exactly. I appreciate All the that. On the sister circle, <laughs> yes. you know? Yeah, guys. absolutely. Well, thank you, thank you so much. Um, so, 95, it was like instant success mm -hmm. uh, f for you guys. Um, how does it feel to know that you actually have a timeless classic that people mm. still resonate with today? Well, it feels great. It feels. I mean, we're blessed. All, all I can say is we're blessed for, to be able to have decades on our belt. Yeah. And to have from the young to the old, you know, know our song. Yeah. And enjoy it with us. We're it's blessed. A, it's, it's, it's a blessing. Yeah. Right. And then Candy Rain's coming up on tw the 25th anniversary. Nice. Wow. Can you believe it? Right. I can't believe it. <laughs> right. It doesn't yeah. seem like that long. Right, right. And so you guys have come together to do some Christmas singles. Talk a little bit about that. And what was the motivation behind coming together for Christmas time? I think um, because we haven't done any Christmas songs in our whole career, it was really just befitting at this moment because it seems like R&B is kind of just losing the footage that it has in all the different genres of music. Uh -huh. It's like we're on a campaign to save R&B with everybody else. Yes. You know, so it was only right that we do something for the holidays. Yeah. You know, uh, what, what do you what do you think music is lacking right now? Because you, I mean, we we all talk about we have legends down here talking about R and B music and soul. What what do you feel is lacking? Because you said all the different directions. Do you think there's just a lack of focus? Soul for real is lacking. Oh, it's lacking. okay, okay now it's, it's and, lacking soul for real. But <laughs> I, I, the okay. diversity, I think, Absolutely. the diversity of of in in the '90s, you had so much different, you know, music coming from the R&B genre where you had female uh, singers, solo, as well as groups. Right now, if you look, there are no... But uh, it's also lacking love. Mm. Let's get back to right. what I was Let's get say. back to love, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you, know, you know what I'm saying? These songs, these, I'm not knocking everybody. anyone, but the songs these days are kind of raunchy or whatever, but you know, big up to all the, all the young heads that's out there making music. I don't think it's that, just uh, so direct. Right, right. Yeah. exactly. You know, you don't even question what they want. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? That. There's no mystery behind the lyrics. Right. Right. So we're missing that. We're missing that. So what can fans expect? Are you guys gonna hit the road? What are you gonna do next? Absolutely. Absolutely. We're we're um, intending to embark on a tour. Um, we're getting into actual a couple of different television situations okay. of our own. Okay. Good. And. Um, we're just staying focused basically for now on uh, promoting the singles. Um, it's not just the Silent Night that we did a rendition of. We also did uh, Christmas, Christmas, Times, yeah. Christmas Times here, which is the Charlie Brown uh, 
yeah, Christmas carols yeah, that yeah, everybody yeah. knows. Mm -hmm. And um, that was a lot of fun. So yeah. You guys can look forward to that. So you, you said a little bit about television projects. So there is there is a, a rumor? There's a rumor, rumor. <laughs> that a movie is going right. to be made. Right. Mm -hmm. Are yeah. you going to tell your own story? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. And it's, and it's great because um, it's funny that even speaking about the rumors, which is more than a rumor now, you know, Heavy D, um, Andre Harrell, rest in peace, have, um, is doing the, the uh, Uptown, Uptown, Uptown movie. Okay, uh -huh. Exactly. And yeah. it's like, you can't have an Uptown story without Uptown. Soul For Real. Right. We were the last group to be signed to Uptown right. Records. And um, we made a real, really nice splash and mark. So, uh, Andre, we here. Yes. You understand? Right. <laughs> and um, we definitely would love to be a part of it if we're not already right. a part of it. But um, it, it's like, it has to be. It has to be. Yeah. Uh, you know? The story can't be complete without, without, without you guys so in it. Real part uh, of it. As we wrap up, I know all of your brothers, what are some family traditions that you still look forward to during the holidays? Y'all sit together, everybody come over to my course, house, absolutely. eat. Like yeah, we just, my dad just, gathering, yeah. Yeah. my dad mm -hmm. just had a birthday uh -huh. and we're Trinidadian with Spiritual Baptist, so we do Thanksgivings. I don't know if, it, if you know what a Thanksgiving is, but we just had a Thanksgiving for my father, so that's like a tradition okay. that, we, that we carry on. Good, like good a stuff. Well, can we give yeah. it up for the amazingly talented Soul For Real? Thank Please you. check out Soul For Real, their single, Christmas Time is here and Silent Night on all digital platforms, and the conversation always continues. This is Circle TV. Mm -hmm.